Included in the new PD bags is going to be a new piece of equipment that we need to introduce that we don't currently carry. This is a Buretrol uh, IV fluid administration set uh, that we can use for pediatric patients instead of our current Select 3 sets. What this is going to allow us to do is administer a specific amount of fluid, the 10 to 20 cc's per kilogram of fluid as specified by Alameda County protocols to our pediatric patients. Instead of our current setup, where we could easily accidentally administer 500 or 1,000 cc's of fluid uh, to a pediatric patient. So, this Buretrol set comes out of the package ready to use. There are directions on the back of the package right here, but I'm going to walk you through it right now. So, tear off these few pieces of paper. This part here, the burette chamber, is what makes this whole thing work. Uh, this is what we're going to fill with our specific amount of fluid for the pediatric patients. So to get this thing ready to use, uh, we'll close these two slides, this blue slide down here and a clear one up top. And then we'll spike most likely a 500 cc bag of fluid. To prime the line, what we'll do is first open this top slide to fill, fill the burette chamber with at least 35 cc's of fluid. Something to note is that we don't need to squeeze the burette chamber like a drip chamber in order to fill it. Instead, we can just let it gravity fill. The air is getting pushed out of that chamber through this port up here, which has this slide in the open position. Then to prime the rest of the line, what we'll do is squeeze the drip chamber like normal. And notice this drip chamber is specifically a 60 drop set. It's not a select three uh, multi um, drip set like our other um, IV fluid administration tubing. To prime the rest of the line, we'll open this bottom slide and allow this at least 35 cc's of fluid to flood through the whole line. It's a little slow since it's going uh, through a 60 drop set. We'll let that flood all the way through the end of the line, just like normal. And once the line's completely flooded, we can fill the, fill the burette chamber with the actual dose of fluid that we want to administer to the patient. So let's say that we've used our pediatric length-based tape and we found that we want to administer 50 cc's of fluid. That means that we're going to fill this chamber to 50 cc's. So I shut down this blue slide after I prime the line and now I'll open this top clear slide to fill the burette chamber to 50 cc's and then I'll shut it down again. Isolating the burette chamber from the 500 cc's of fluid that we're protecting the patient from up here. We'll establish our venous access, connect the line, secure it, and then we'll use this slide to administer those 50 cc's of fluid that we want to bolus the patient. Once those are administered, if you want to do another bolus, just close your bottom slide, refill your burette chamber, to 50 or however many cc's you want to give your patient, and then open the bottom slide to administer to the patient. Otherwise, this drip set works about the same as our Select 3's do. There's two lure lock medication administration ports near the distal end of the line, pretty close to your IV access. And there's a few other spots where you can clamp or close the line to uh, stop fluid from moving. That's it, this is the uh, Buretrol IV solution administration set that we're going to use to protect our pediatric patients from over-administering fluid.